Yeah, it's still day to the Kilkenny Arts Festival. We're here at the Festival Hub in the left bank. The weather is holding up, so we've decided to nip outside for a chat with David Van. David, you're in town on the promotion of the new book, uh, or your most recent book, Legend mm -hmm. of a Suicide. You're on in Set Theatre tomorrow with Ed O'Loughlin. Um, can you give us a little bit of background information for those who don't know about the book? Uh, sure. It's set in Alaska, where I uh, was born and spent my early childhood. And it's, uh, it has the true story of my father's suicide in the background, but it's fiction. And uh, the way that happened was that um, uh, everything kind of transformed and shifted in the writing and became different than what I expected and it became fiction. So uh, to give an example, my, uh, I lived in Alaska as a kid, but then my parents divorced and I lived in California. And my dad asked me to come spend a year with him up in Alaska and I said no. And then two weeks later he killed himself and, and I felt really guilty for a long time after that, wondering if I had said yes, if he would still be alive. Um, and I think everyone in the family had some kind of moment of guilt like that. Uh, I think that's common with suicide. Uh, but the, most of the book is, an, is a short novel titled Suquan Island, uh, within Legend of a Suicide, uh, in which the boy and his father go homesteading for a year. And so it's the boy saying yes and, and spending the year up there. And that's kind of how the book happened. It has that true story in the background, but then it's been transformed in some way uh, into fiction. And how, I mean, looking at your website, seeing that you've been on the road, you know, we were saying earlier on you started in Australia, you've got a long list of countries and other festivals to go through. How have you found at events like this the audience reaction to the book and the story itself? Well, I love doing the festivals, actually. <laughs> it's, it's a lot more fun than the other reading events uh, on tour. I was in, on tour in France in June. Uh, going to a lot of bookstores and libraries and that was fun but the festivals are great because I get to go to other events also to uh, music and I heard John Banville and Hugo Hamilton mm -hmm. read last night and so, so I love that and the audiences are bigger at, at festivals and I think it, there's more of a, a kind of festive atmosphere I mean they're, they're kind of on vacation and having a nice time and seeing a lot of events uh, so I started with with Sydney in Australia in, in May at the beginning of this trip and I was just surprised. It was the first festival I'd done, and, and I love them. I'd like to just endlessly do festivals. That would be my ideal life, I think. It's a long time. It's a long time in the process. You were what, ten years writing the book. You were almost another decade trying to find a publisher. Yeah, twelve years. Uh, no agent would send it out to any editors. Uh, so I thought the book would never be published. Yeah. I, I'd worked on it for ten years, and then for twelve years thought it wouldn't be published. So it, to me, it's it's a an absolute thrill to have it come out and to be be able to be out touring and, and seeing new beautiful places and being a festival. So it, it's not what I'd ever imagined. I didn't think it was possible. And now that you haven't published, uh, you're on to your second piece of fiction. Mm -hmm. um, you've got Caribou Island coming yeah, out Yeah, Caribou September. Island. It's an, another novel. Uh, well, it's a novel. The Legend of a Suicide short novel and mm -hmm. five uh, short stories that frame it. Uh, but Caribou Island's my first novel and it's set in Alaska and has a lot of uh, Alaskan landscape some of the stuff that Legend of Suicide has, uh, but it's about a marriage mm. uh, instead of about a father and son, and uh, things aren't going very well in the, in the marriage. And come here, um, I read in the Irish Times earlier on that uh, over the time you've been touring between the UK and now you're in Ireland, you're back writing again, uh, you've already got the third fictional piece in the works. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I should yourself busy. <laughs> yeah, I, it just, it happened by surprise. I, I thought I was going to take a vacation and, and not write for a bit. Uh, but it just started happening. I had the idea uh, one evening and I started writing it the next day and and uh, it's kind of screwy material from California from growing up when everything was very new age and I was fire walking and, and uh, meditating and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. And then it has my mom's family in the background too and all there. Uh, screwed up stuff, so my, my, I may lose the rest of my family <laughs> if I actually finish this. All right. It gets published. I'm, I'm pretty scared, but but it's just uh, I, I think for me writing is largely unconscious and out of control. There are surprises, and I, and I don't know what I'm going to be working on, and, and I just write what I can, and, and I'm enjoying it. It's fun. And had you seen yourself? Kind of following the, the trail now as, as a fiction writer because you had started with a, long, uh, a mile down yeah before uh, Legend of the Suicide mm -hmm. came out yeah it was a memoir about uh, sinking in a freak storm in the Caribbean and losing everything uh, my wife and I sank in our honeymoon 
and uh, that was after some other disasters. And then I have two other nonfiction books. I have another one coming out next year just in the U.S. about a school shooting that I wrote about for Esquire. Um, it's called Last Day on Earth and it's about the NIU school shooting. And then I have another unpublished memoir set in Mexico, an excerpt of it was in the Observer magazine recently. Um, and I don't know whether that will get published or not. We sold film rights to it, but, but not the book. Uh, but fiction is, is what I like most. And yeah. my fiction is the, my best writing and, and the stories I'm most interested in. And I'm most interested in them because the fiction surprises me and, and takes turns, goes places that I hadn't expected. And, and to me, that's what's most engaging about writing is why I do it. Well, what's in store for people in the set theater tomorrow then with yourself and Ed? Well, uh, I, I really like Ed's work and I'm, I'm excited to meet him. I've never met him before and, and so I have no idea what will happen. We'll just have to see where it goes. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, David Van, thank you very much for taking the time to, come, or to, to talk to us, I should say. The show again, it's tomorrow. It's in Set Theatre at 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And I uh, hope you enjoy the weather. Oh, yeah. The rest yeah, of the festival. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.